Good afternoon. Jason Robinson here, instructor with RJG in Woodstock, Georgia. Today we're going to take a look at how to properly size the nozzle orifice and the nozzle radius between your molding machine and your mold. You know, sometimes in, on the molding shop floor, some of the biggest problems have the simplest solution. Here we have a tool pulled out of the machine sitting on the tool room table. Here is the locating ring, and here is the sprue bushing with the concave radius. So I'm going to use my, my sprue bushing radius gauge right here, and it has two sides. It's got the big side, which is a three-quarter inch, and it's got the smaller radius on this side, which, let me turn it over, is a half-inch radius. Now it's got the two marks on either side. Those need to match up with the edge of the radius of the bushing in here. So let's see what size this is. So let's put this one, and this is the half-inch. I put it in. Now it fits in there, but if you can see how the marks are way smaller than the actual than the actual bushing itself. So here the marks are way inside the bushing. So now let's flip it over and see if the side fits better. This is the three quarter inch radius. So if you can see that, that is the size of the sprue bushing radius on this mold. Now that we know the mold sprue bushing is a three quarter inch radius, let's use the other side of the gauge, these sides, to see which nozzle tip we need on the, on the molding machine. So this is the three quarter inch radius. You can see that right here, three quarter inch radius at the top. So let's see which nozzle is a three quarter inch radius. This one right here, you got a little bit of slop. So this is probably the smaller side, half inch right here. So let's see if this side fits. Oh, a perfect fit. So the writing is upside down, but if we flip it over, that is the three quarter inch radius. So it fits perfectly right there. This size would be too small. If we were to install this nozzle on the machine where this mold is running, we would have a leak. This size right here is the perfect fit. You can also use this on nozzle tips as well. A minute ago I did it on the full size nozzle body. Uh, most people use nozzle tips, so you can use the gauge in the same fashion. So here is the half inch side, so that obviously doesn't fit. Half inch is too small. So the nozzle tip that I'm holding right here is a three quarter inch radius. So if we were using a nozzle tip, this will be the right size nozzle tip for this mold. Here, just so you can see, is a half inch radius nozzle tip. So we can put the three quarter on there and it's way too big. So the half inch, this side up here, I'm gonna flip it upside down, fits on this guy perfectly. Next thing we need to do is use the nozzle orifice gauge. Now, the nozzle orifice gauge is gonna measure the diameter of the hole in the sprue bushing. So the, the, this nozzle tip gauge has sixteenths on this side. That would be re, uh, referring to these steps here. So if only the first step goes in, it's a one sixteenth. If the second step goes in, it's a two sixteenths, which, which would be a one eight. There are other sizes on the other side. So here it's in 30 seconds. Let me put it where you can see it. Yeah. 30 seconds. So if the first tip goes in, it's a 3 30 seconds. If the second tip goes in, it's a 5 30 seconds. So let's measure this mold right here. Let's measure it in the 16th. So the first one goes in. The second one goes in, but the third notch does not go in. So the first one went in. The second one went in. The third one here would not. So that's going to make this a 2 sixteenths, which would be a 1 8 orifice on the sprue bushing. Now we can measure the, the nozzle tip. And the nozzle tip should always be one size smaller than the inlet in the mold. So this nozzle tip needs to be a 1 8 or no bigger. 
So here we have the eighths, right? The sixteenths. So this one is a one sixteenths goes in. The two sixteenths will not. So it's a one sixteenths, maybe a little bit bigger orifice. So that would be smaller than the hole in here. And you can kind of visibly see the hole in the nozzle tip is a little bit smaller than the one there. The best way to do it is with the gauge. Now, if I were to put this guy, this guy is way too big, plus it's the wrong radius. That hole is much bigger than that. If we do that, even if the radius radiuses match up, we're going to have a leak as well. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to, to check these two radiuses and orifices while a mold is installed in the machine. It's a little bit more difficult, but let's check the orifice, or the sorry, the radius of the tip first. So if we put it on here, this is the half inch radius side that I'm using. And you can see that it doesn't quite slip over that. So let me flip the gauge over. Now this is the three quarter inch radius right there. And that fits on there really good. The lighting's not the best, but it fits. And then here is the three quarter inch radius for the bushing. Now let's see if that fits. Yes, that's a perfect match just to make sure. Let's see what the half inch looks like. See, there's way too much room in there. It slides around too much. So again, three quarter inch sprue bushing, three quarter inch radius on there. Now checking the orifice of the nozzle tip can be challenging while the uh, tip is on there because there might be some solid plastic in there. I got this guy turned off so it's not hot. Um, I probably can't push that in there because there's solidified plastic, but I can check the radius on the mold the same way that I did on the table over there. You just see how many notches go in. There's one notch, two notch. So two notches go in on that one. So that was a, a two sixteenths, which would be a one eighth. And then I would just need to maybe check that before I put it on here um, or just know what nozzle tip that I have. So besides what having a leak can do to the process, if you get a plastic leak between the nozzle and the sprue bushing here, these heater bands will be covered with plastic and most likely ruined. And this thermocouple that slides under there will also be damaged and ruined. And then all that has to be replaced and has to be rewired. Thanks for tuning in to today's video on how to size your nozzle tip correctly. One parting question I want you to ask yourself, what ways that I not mention that could cause a leak between your mold and your nozzle tip interface? And secondly, what other problems could that cause to your process? Thank you guys and don't forget to leave comments in the comment section below. You guys have a good day.